What is up, everybody, and welcome back to AI on Crypto. Today, we're going to get real and candid on this video, and we're going to discuss what a lot of people have been talking about lately, and that is, is Gala Games a Ponzi scheme? Is Gala Games going to completely collapse like Axie Infinity, scamming their entire community? We have a lot of people making these types of claims lately. We got a lot of people doubting the future of the ecosystem and we're going to really look at that question and try to answer it here on this video today what is the future of gala games so get ready guys we're going to dive into this topic right now this is ai on crypto on this channel we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends altcoin gems all the things on the blockchain that fill our bags to the max while staying far away from Rec City. We make daily cryptocurrency content covering NFTs, metaverses, planar blockchain gaming, DeFi, and more. So if you're looking for that kind of content, please subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss future videos, and welcome to the community. Now remember, nothing I say here on this video is financial advice. Everything I expressed is for entertainment and information purposes only. Make sure you do your own research. All this stuff's very risky. Talk to a pro before making any big major decisions. All right, guys, Gala Games, one of the absolute biggest hits in all of cryptocurrency in the 2021 epic bull run. This uh, amazing project literally did like a thousand X from where it started the year and where it ended. It had one of the most epic runs in the entire time that I've been in the crypto space now, which is about five years, but now, it has come back down to earth like so many other projects and you have a lot of people really fearful that this ecosystem is dead and there's a lot of stuff getting thrown around like you know are the founders incredibly greedy you know did they get rich on the backs of their community members with these expensive nfts um has axie infinity proved that all of this stuff is doomed then you got all the fudsters in the traditional gaming sector still saying that NFTs are a money grab. So there's a lot, you know, basically um, the story has flipped itself from where Gala was about six months ago. Six months ago, Gala was the prom queen. Everybody wanted to date. Everybody was Gala, Gala, Gala. And now, along with Axie Infinity and a few other projects that were big back then, people are seriously down on Axie Infinity. All right, guys, so with all that being said, I'm gonna give you my take on what I think about all of this mess, okay? And I'm just going to let you know right now that I believe with 100% of all of my heart that Gala Games is one of the best buys right now in the entire investment world. All right, guys, when you look at the Gala price, here we are at about a one month, a 90 day graph. Let's look at the 180. Um, so yes, we are down over the last quarter, but check out the stability that we have found over the last two months. Now, if you zoom in on a tighter time frame, you know, I'm not a technical analyst, but <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, all of the new Gala created is done through the Gala nodes. They just had a happening. So now all of the daily Gala that was produced has been cut in half ar sometime around this bottom right here. So what I think we might be seeing with this strong support is a lot less sell pressure as the amount of newly minted Gala has been cut in half. A lot of people that are not deep into the ecosystem don't understand that. Now, what about, you know, play to earn gaming, Gala's performance? They're, uh, you know, how are they delivering on the promise that they've been uh, giving their community, which is to make fun, engaging, play and earn games that are something that you want to spend your time doing because they are incredibly fun, but they do give that uh, player the ability to walk away with something at the end of the day. All right, guys, and I'm going to take you to the list of games they currently have in development. And anytime I think you're doubting Gala, you just need to go to their game store and look at what they have in the pipeline. Fortitude, Grit, Battlestar Galactica, Eternal Paradox, Spider Tanks, Town Crush, Superior, the Walking Dead, Empires, Legends Reborn, Townstar, Mirandus, Legacy, Expedi Last Expedition, and Echoes of Empire. None of those titles are little throwaway games, side projects. Each one of those titles is a very serious project. Now, I think what's going on in the community, there's a lot of people that think that Gala bought 
has bitten off way more than they can chew. So it's no secret that Gala is moving beyond planner and gaming. Now they have Gala Music and Gala Film. So they are branching out into the entire entertainment sector. A lot of people feel like they are, because of that, neglecting the play and earn side. Also, when Gala does all these things, people think that it's somehow slowing down the development of projects like Townstar and Mirandas. And I think that comes from a basic misunderstanding of what Gala Games is. Sure, they are um, designing, developing, and creating two games right now with Townstar and Mirandas. They are going to be the flagship games of the Gala Games company. But every other game is being created by a different team and they are just using Gala as the blockchain expert and they're launching on the Gala Games platform. All right, guys, so when they add on these additional projects, it should by no means slow down projects like Moranis and Townstar because those are being led by independent teams that do nothing but focus on those games. So Gala expanding to me is great because you want them to have as many avenues for success as possible in other words, you want them to cast a wide net because, first of all, Gala has a lot of funding. They were smart during the pump. They were always backed by very deep pockets, but they have a lot of cash, a lot of USD capital. Gala Games is in it to win it. Now, a lot of uh, people like to bring up the orb situation with BT as an example of how Gala Games has just gotten completely greedy where they offered these nfts starting out at 11 ethereum at first they said they wouldn't let it sell any lower than 8 ethereum in a dutch auction they wound up hardly selling any and the price went all the way down to about 0.75 eth uh, during the dutch auction which was a complete surprise some people paid a whole lot of money like you know 11 eth close to uh early on in the dutch auction and it just led to at, at that point also, the bear market began. So I think, you know, negative sentiment was just on the rise through the bear market. And that's an example people like to point to of how Gala is not delivering. But hold up, guys. I think right now the orbs is one of the best buys in the entire NFT space. You can get an orb right now for about 0.25 Ethereum. And I believe that because there's so much negative sentiment and FUD towards the orbs, I think Gala Games is going to deliver on that incredible utility they promised in the beginning with the orbs, they just haven't been able to do so yet because the games are not out. But guys, these games are coming, and I believe not only is Gala Games not dead, I think they still remain as the blue chip uh, project in the entire play and earn space. They have a track record, guys, and it's not just, you know, Jason Bitbender and Eric Schirmeyer. These guys have people like Will Wright, Michael McCarthy, veteran traditional gaming pros that are branching out and exploring this new technology with passion and enthusiasm. And what Gala is going to deliver over the next uh, year to five years to 10 years, I think is going to blow people's brains. So if you look at the Gala price right now, six cents, again, not financial advice, but I'm all over it, guys. Market cap of half a billion dollars, five, you know, 450 million. I think that's a fair market cap, but all they have to do is have a couple of breakout successes and, and you could be seeing it having a value of Twitter. Like look at Twitter. Twitter is a market cap of $28 billion and we don't even know how many users it has. What are the revenue streams? Why is it worth $28 billion on the open market? If Gala has a fraction of mainstream adoption, why would it not be at least as valuable as um, uh, Twitter, which of course, if it obtained that market cap would be a 50X. Now there's no science behind that, but that is kind of the weird way I tend to look at things in terms of future prospect value. But that's just me guys. Remember that's not financial advice. So guys, this is my answer. All this FUD surrounding Gala, all these people beginning to doubt it. I think they need to just calm down a little bit. If you go to CoinGecko and you look at things through categories, you go to the play and earn space, you see that Gala is still holding incredibly strong um at, at the number five spot in planner and projects uh, in, in terms of market cap and that is behind the central land which is almost at two billion so they're about 25 percent the number one project in the space and frankly guys i think gala has more going on than the central land does so when i see stuff like that i get bullish on gala oh and by the way we i did mention in this title kind of hyperbolic collapse like um axie infinity 
that's just what people think. Personally, guys, I don't think Axie is dead. You see Axie hanging tough as the number three uh, by market cap project and play and earn. And it is actually doing well over the last you know month in terms of finding some stability and some support. And I believe Axie Infinity is going to remain one of the very important projects over the next five to 10 years in this space. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe, tap that bell. We'll catch you on the next one.